Hello friends. So today in this video, we're going to discuss con like problems from lead code weekly contest 251. So let's start. We're going to discuss the first three problems. As usual, the first problem is sum of digits of string after convert. So as you can see in this problem statement, it is explaining that you're given a string consisting of characters in which you have to first convert all the characters to its corresponding numbers. So which means that A is corresponding to 1, B is corresponding to 2 and so on till Z. So if you have some like some length of a string, first convert all of the corresponding like characters to a corresponding number. So as you can see Z is 26 and so on. So now for then concatenate them. Okay, so this is the first number. Now after the first transformation, what you have to do it is you will add all the digits of this number and make a new number and then in the next transformation again add all the digits of this number and make a new number and so on. So now the problem is telling you to do this number of transformations k times. So first convert this string into the corresponding number and do this transformation of adding all the digits and converting it to a number k times and then print out the number. So as you can see, if you take out all the i's and like make them into nines and then concatenate all of them, this number is formed. Then after one transformation, all the nines will be added and it will become 36. So the resulting number is 36. So you just have to do that. So the like the simple way here is just do the same thing because the constraints are also very small. So what you can do is uh, first convert the whole string, which is like string length to the concatenated number. Okay, that's what we are doing here. Okay, and then what we'll do for each iteration, what we actually have to do is take the whole number and then extract out the last number. So if you have some number which is like 52, so take out every digit from 52, like five and two and add them to a new total and then return a new total, which is like the new total sum. So you have to take the older number and add all the digits in that and that's a new number. And then the new number from this 36 will be add three plus six, which is equal to nine and so on. So for after every iteration, when it becomes nine, after every iteration, it will remains to be same. I hope you get the point. So that's not too difficult to implement. I have written on two functions to first convert the string into numbers, uh, like the concatenated number, and then adding that number, the digits of that number again and again to form the new number. Okay. The new, the next problem is largest number after mutating substring. So this problem statement is asking you that you have some number which is given to you in a form of a string okay so it's a very large number okay then what you actually have to do here is like the problem is telling you that more formally digit d is mapped to a particular digit like you can replace one with it so what the problem st statement is telling you that every number can be replaced with some another number like every number okay in this so maybe that number is not here so two can be replaced with so this is a string which is giving you the change okay it starts from zero so zero one two so if you want to change one in this whole string you can replace it with eight if you want to change two you can replace it with five if you want to change like four but there is no four so like it's not there so what the problem statement is telling you that you have to choose a substring a continuous like an array such that you can replace that substring to the corresponding number it matches out so if you choose the whole number as the substring then you have to replace all the digits in this with the change digits so you have to change one with eight three with like zero one two three with three with zero and so on and then you have to find out the the problem statement is asking you to find out the largest possible integer after doing this mutation so the mutation is choosing out a substring and replacing the whole substring with the replaced number or the change digits so now the simplest way here is like if you want to come up with some uh, solution I can open online download. Yeah, so what you can easily uh, like see in this problem is like it is always better because it's a string form it is always better to replace so maybe first find out maybe the best case scenario can be only replacing out digits which are leading to a better result which means that maybe there are some digits okay 
then if maybe the digit is 2 and it will be replaced by 6 so it is obviously better to replace 2 by 6 because it will increase my answer so let's assume that this these two numbers are if changed will increase my number and this these two numbers are also like if changed will increase the number now what you can see here is which like because you can only choose one substring obviously you will try to choose this because this number is more forward in the whole string so if you change this number it will like bring a larger change in the whole number and that's it that you want to change the substring continuous substring which is continuous and uh, like it should be in the start so you have to find out different substrings and the substring which is from the start should be replaced but maybe what can happen here is like this is 7 and this is also 7 so replacing this will not cause us any harm this will not like decrease the number but if you like join this whole part because this can it, like if I change this substring it will also increase my answer if I change this substring this will also increase my answer but if I include this part which is like 7 and it is not like causing us any problem why not just take this as a whole substring and this will cause a larger impact instead of just changing out that but we cannot we can only change like take a substring which is connected like uh, the, the array should be connected out so you have to take this uh, condition also in account so what you can easily understand from this problem is the problem is that you have to first find out the starting value so the value can be what i mean by this is let's assume that you have some number which is like two three okay so this is like uh this decreases if i change this this will decrease my number so don't take that this is three so this is like maybe it will change to four okay so and this is like four this will change to four this is like six it will change to eight this is like uh, seven this will change to nine and so on so you have to first find out the number or maybe this is two and changing will lead down to two only okay now see first find out if you want to find out a substring for for finding a substring it is a life left pointer and light pointer like this is a sub -array. so the, okay so what you can choose here is let's move your left pointer to the point where changing is beneficial what i mean by this is if i take this as a substring obviously it do not increase it's, it's not causing us any harm if i change 2 to 2 it is not causing us any harm but still it is not giving us a benefit so changing 3 to 4 is benefit so take this as a starting point because i want to find out the first subarray and then keep on adding the elements till it is causing us a benefit okay changing this to this okay is not causing us benefit but it is not causing us any problem okay so it can also happen that maybe the next number is giving us a benefit so if it is not causing us any problem still you can take it out so i'm taking it in okay then this is giving us a benefit this is giving us a benefit maybe this is like uh, eight two three so this is causing us a problem because converting eight to three so this is the sub array which is like the starting sub array in which taking this sub array as a whole is better because the first element and the last element are so such that that if you take out all the elements they are somewhat increasing or like constant in giving us the result okay taking out any sub array further down the line is not beneficial because that will eventually decrease my answer i hope you get the point that's the whole logic for this problem you have to first find out the first number less than n which is like giving us a benefit which means that if you change that number to the new number okay the new number should be greater than that okay so then we have to take out that as the first point then the next point will be i will take change my j pointer so i have one pointer which is i the next point is j and my j will be such that i will keep on finding out the element which is giving us a benefit or maybe it is not giving us a benefit but it is like it is like a no deal breaker if it is giving less than what i wanted then we have to just break so we just move our j which is like starting from i and go to the end and just checking that at which point i should make my sub array such that if the change element is greater than or equal to the element i want then i will change that and move to the next number else if the next number is causing us problem which means that we cannot change that sub array and it is decreasing my total answer then we just break out at that point and the answer is the new answer like the new string which is uh, like produced i hope you get the point so that's the third problem the fourth problem is actually not too difficult it states that you have um, so you have some students and you also have some mentors so you have like there are some students and some mentors and the compatibility score so there is some maybe some sort of a question set okay the the student solve the question set and the teacher also said like solve the question set so as you can see maybe there are three problems 
and there are three students so the first student solved the three problems and he marked whether it's true or false so the first student solved like this true 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 like true true false and the second student like marked it out I like marked out like this the third student marked out like this and so on the mentors were also given the same question paper and they marked out the answer like this now you have to somehow matches every every student with some mentor such that the answer should match in the maximum possible way and you have and the number of answer they matches out added total give you the compatibility score so you have to maximize the compatibility score what i mean by this is you can see the first example if i matches the student 0 and mentor 2 student 0 which is this and mentor 2 which is like this so as you can see how many are the answer which are matching like how many numbers are matching as you can see the first number second number third number all are matching so the answer is three so for if we match now student one with the zeroth person so how many are there are matching with just two and if you like match the second student with the first like this so as you can see all of them are matching the total matchings if i do this type of matching then the total score is it so you can also like do some other type of matching also but the thing here is you have to somehow divide the mentor and student into one by one one group such that when we do the matching of their total answers then they should be like maximum matching if you add all of them so that the compatibility score you have to maximize the main thing in this problem is n and m are small so what you can do here is you can do this in a very brute first way so in a brute first way means that you have to like because as you can see 8 factorial because the maximum number of combinations will be 8 factorial which is like 40,000 so like you can easily do that so what you can easily do here is like find out every possible combination okay permutation so what you can do here is uh, first find out like what you can hear is like first find out what is the answer if one match with like the first student okay so because there are n n n which is like 8 and 8 or teachers and student you can do here is like take every student and match it with every student like a teacher and find out what is the compatibility score if they find out the answer okay so what i have done here is like there are three rested for loop take every student and every mentor and for every student every mentor check over the question marks and find out how many total matchings are there if they have some matching then store this in this array so it's like a 2d matrix which like maybe there are like uh, four teachers and maybe there are uh, four students so this is for the students part this is for the teachers part for so i just matched the first student and the first teacher the like uh, second teacher third teacher fourth teacher and find out how many matchings are there if i choose the first student and the first teacher so maybe there are three matchings then there are four matchings then fifth matching and like two matching so and so so on so we'll just populate this matrix in which this will have actually eventually help us to find out the answer very easily in the end and then what you can do here is now we have to make a one one matching so for one one matching what we actually have to do here is we have to take every possible combination in which like so if they are like two students like th four students and four teachers one combination can be like match them like this the other can be like match these and then like this and so on so what you can do here is find out every possible permutation so keep keep the like let's even keep the uh, what i'm keeping as you can see i'm uh, yeah so I am permitting all the students. So permitting all the students. Let's assume that this is the one permutation. Okay, the next permutation can be one, two, four, three. Okay, one, three, two, four. One, three, four, two. These are different permutations. So which means that the first teacher, first student, second student, second teacher, second student, and so on. The next case can be first student, like first teacher, second student, and so on. Like this is the matching. Like the fourth teacher and the third student, and so on. So you can create every possible permutation using the next permutation function and you just insert all the students number like IDs in one vector and like keep on permitting it and then the permutation will be maybe now you are matching the first student and the first teacher second student and second teacher and so on so now you have already calculated the answer like if you have matched the first student and the first teacher you have the answers the matching answer so you don't have to do it real order it again and again so what you actually have to do here is just you have the permutation of the students and the teachers and then iterate over this given permutation okay and then find out the total answer if you like match these students out okay and then like maximize them over all the possible permutation okay i hope you understand the logic and the code part you will see all the code description like the all the codes and the description box if you still have